In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Good morning, everyone. We gather this day in our homes, in church here, wherever we are to to worship God during this liturgy. Let us ask now for the gift of his merciful love. Lord Jesus, we come before you with a grateful heart, acknowledging all that we have, all that we are comes from you. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, for the times that we forget to acknowledge your presence in those that we encounter, those that we meet, those that we serve. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, at moments of temptation, we call upon your wisdom and knowledge. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we celebrate in mystery the solemnities of your Son's resurrection, so too we may be worthy to rejoice at his coming with all the saints. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Paul's escorts had taken him to Athens, they came away with instructions for Silas and Timothy to join him as soon as possible. Then Paul stood up at the Areopagus and said, You Athenians, I see that in every respect you are very religious. For as I walked around looking carefully at your shrines, I even discovered an altar inscribed to an unknown God. What therefore you unknowingly worship, I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands because he needs anything. Rather, it is he who gives to everyone life and breath and everything. He made from one the whole human race to dwell on the entire surface of the earth, and he fixed the ordered seasons and the boundaries of their regions so that people might seek God, even perhaps grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from any one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being, as even some of your poets have said, for we too are his offspring. Since therefore we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divinity is like an image fashioned from gold, silver, or stone by human art and imagination. God has overlooked the times of ignorance, but now he demands that all people everywhere repent because he has established a day on which he will judge the world with justice through a man he has appointed, and he has provided confirmation for all by raising him from the dead. When they heard about resurrection of the dead, some began to scoff, but others said, we should like to hear you on this some other time. And so Paul left them. But some did join him and became believers. Among them were Dionysius, a member of the court of the Areopagus, a woman named Damaris, and others with them. After this, he left Athens and went to Corinth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the heights, praise him all you his angels, praise him all you his hosts. Let the kings of the earth and all the peoples, the princes and all the judges of the earth, young men too and maidens, old men and boys. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His majesty is above earth and heaven. He has lifted up the horn of his people. Be this his praise from all his faithful ones, from the children of Israel, the people close to him. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, I have much more to tell you, but you cannot bear it now. But when he comes, the spirit of truth, he will guide you to all truth. He will not speak on his own, but he will speak what he hears and will declare to you the things that are coming. He will glorify me because he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. Everything that the Father has is mine, and for this reason I told you that he will take from what is mine and declare it to you. The Gospel of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, this particular Gospel speaks so clearly in what such depth of the intimacy that the Father and the Son enjoy. Jesus will reveal everything that the Father has shared with him. And then in turn, Jesus will reveal it to us. And there's much more to hear. How are we going to hear it? Except for the gift of the Advocate, the gift of the Holy Spirit that will come. And how will this Spirit speak? Through you, through me. To our service to one another, our listening and discerning God's will in our life, how we put flesh on the word of God in scripture, how we honor Jesus in our lives, there's much more to tell. As you and I evolve in the image of Jesus, there's always more because there's more to us just as there's more to Jesus Christ. His immortality can never, and his divinity, never be captured at one moment. It's a constant, ongoing revelation, which will sustain us in moments of darkness or confusion. When we're looking to discern God's will, there's much more to tell us, and to tell us the gift of the Holy Spirit will be among us, and each of us is called to respond to that voice, how we hear and what God is asking of each of us. So as we journey, we have a companion, the gift of the Spirit of God, which is the fruit of the Father and the Son's love.
And now we turn to our Heavenly Father and we ask that he hear our prayers and accept our love. We pray first in thanksgiving for this opportunity, this privilege to, to gather wherever we are to celebrate this Eucharist as God continues to reveal his love to us in the spoken word and in the Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, help us to continue to appreciate that intimacy that you have with the Father and as a consequence to be empowered by your love, the fruit of that love, the Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And Lord, we continue to pray for the world, for all creation, which has come from your handiwork, especially during this time of the pandemic. And we pray for all those who help to sustain our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, as you continue to break into our lives with your love, we ask for the grace to see as you see and to hear as you hear. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now, my brothers and sisters, take a moment in the silence of your heart and let your needs be known. Almighty God, I offer you to those who celebrate, who are listening and celebrating this Eucharist, that you hear their prayers and accept their love, if it be God's holy will. We say these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. The sacrifice of yours. My hands for the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our good, good and all good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that we, as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Spirit. Lift up your hearts. Them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover had been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the Lamb of God. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your 
Holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. Giving thanks, he broke it gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this. All of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Holy Father, Francis, our Bishop Douglas, with all of the clergy and all of God's holy people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Lord, we ask for your mercy upon those who will die today, who have no one to pray for them. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles, our patron saints and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The power and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Miserere nobis, miserere nobis. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Miserere nobis, miserere Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a wonderful day, everyone. You too, Father. Please join in number 379, God Has Chosen Me. God has chosen me, God has chosen me To bring good news to the poor God has chosen me, God has chosen me To bring new sight to those searching for light God has chosen me.